Hi, this is Mark, and I'm back. Um, this is the second video with a little bit more of an advanced uh, look at the, uh, the Spirit State webbook platform. So I'm just going to log in, uh, which is as simple as that. And now I'm in my, my account. And in the profile, this is where you add your name, your Facebook account if you have one, Twitter account, your personal website if you have one, etc. You can write a bio about yourself. This is all the information that shows up in the public profile. Now I'm going to click the public profile icon and this is how that information looks to the public. So this is your, in a, in a sense, your public face. So someone who's coming to your um, profile can see your notes if you've allowed them to. They can look at what bookmarks you've made, comments you've made at the chapter level, who your friends are, how often you log in. All of that information will be available to them and to the degree that you want it. I mean, this is a, a choice you have. So the place you set that is in the sharing tab within my profile. So we're in the sharing tab, and here you have profile, friends, stats, map location, books. And all of these are defaulted by the system, how we think it should be organized. But if you want, you can change it. And once you make the selection changes, you just click Save Changes, and your, your, your changes are made. If you want, once you've made these changes, if you want to go back to this res uh, restore the defaults, you just click this button. Okay? Themes and navigation. This allows you to kind of customize the look and feel. So right now I'm using a theme called Pepper Grinder. This, you know, shows up in the pop-ups. It shows up in the drop-down menus. It shows up in the tabs. It shows up in the rollover color. All of those things are adjusted if I select a different look and feel. So I like this combination of pepper grinder and these panels, which is this one here. But let's say I wanted to go to another one of my favorites, which is this one. Then I might want to change it to Cupertino because I think that combination looks better. It's kind of a blue look. So I made those changes, and now I've got different colors here, and I've got different side panels. And I, okay, I like that look and feel, so I'm going to go with that. I can also change where I go after login. So if I, right now I'm, I'm going to be taken to the profile, but maybe I want to go to my library, or I want to go to the store, or I want to see my stats. Uh, whatever you want to do, you can make that change. And it's all done in the themes and navigation section. The geolocation, this is just saying where you are. Again, you can block that information if you so choose. We're just pulling it off your IP address. Um, you can also manually enter that information if you so choose. If you want to add um, or update your photo, uh, this is the place to do it. If you want to change your password, you can do it here. If you want to change your email, you can do it here. So you just click it and put in your new email. You have to do it twice to make sure you got it right. And then click Change Password, and you're good to go. <coughs> so that's all there is to that. Uh, I think in a previous video, I showed you the library, so you kind of have a rundown of how that you know, looks and operates. I'm not going to go into that too much. If you hold your cursor over it, you can see over any of the thumbnails, that is. You can kind of learn a little bit about how many people are online, from what countries are they from, uh, how many different languages that book has been translated into, etc. So uh, it's kind of nice to have that. The notes, um, just going to click in here. Notes is a, um, I'm now looking at my Dorman Prophecy notes. These are just testing notes, so there's not a lot of great content there at this time, but uh, you can kind of see how you can edit those notes if you want. You can delete them uh, by just clicking the, the trash here. Uh, you can add a new note by coming to this tab and doing that. Your note archives get populated after 90 days. A note gets considered to be old, <laughs> and it goes into the archive. It's just a way to kind of keep tabs on everything. So none of your notes will be deleted unless you physically go here and delete them yourself. Okay? Uh, friends, you know, here are your friends. As you get more and more, it'll just scroll down. Uh, pending requests, any blocked. And then the map of friends we talked about in the last video, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, bookmarks, the same thing. You just select which book you, you want to look at your bookmarks in. If I were to click that bookmark right now, I would go directly to that page in the Dorman Prophecy. I'm not going to do that. Comments. Comments are a little different than um, notes in the, in the, to the degree that notes you can do every page. You can leave a note on every page of the book. 
So in the case of the Dormant Prophecy, it's about 512 pages long. I can leave a note. I can leave 512 notes. I can leave a thousand notes if I wanted to do multiple notes on a page. With comments, however, it's only by chapter. So I can only leave one comment per chapter, and it's only at the end of the chapter that I can leave the comment. And so if I go in here and I say, well, you know, chapter five, I left a comment, and this was a test, I can add a new, a new chapter comment directly from this section. So here's how I would do it. And this tells me which uh, chapters I have not left a comment on. So you notice that chapter five, I had left a comment, and it's missing here. It goes from chapter four to chapter six, and that's because the system knows I already left a, com a comment for chapter five. So I, I just basically select what chapter I want to leave a comment for. Once I've made that selection, then I just write my comment, add it down here, and I'm good to go. So that's all that works. Stats is where, you know, kind of tells you where you last logged in, how long you've been a member of the site, in other words, when you, you uh, registered, what books I'm reading, who are my friends, and so forth. This is actually showing me um, my login, and it's, it's letting me know how many times I've logged in per day uh, over the last nine days, in this case of June. I can go back and select a different month right here. I'm not going to do that, but, but that's available to me. Um, the store, we've kind of gone through that a little bit, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But just to note that all of these tabs here, anytime you click a book to, to turn it on, so to speak, or to buy it, you have to click how you want to, you your payment type. It doesn't come up this way automatically, so you do need to select your payment type. And, um, and then the order is here. It's a secure order. We have a SSL, a 128-bit key. Um, protection so so it's all encrypted and um, you know it's a, it's a very very safe transaction down here will tell you how many readers how many notes how many comments how many translations all of that information is stored right down here for any particular book and again we call it a book cozy because cozy is a community of shared interest and all of the community components or social media components of this um, it's more than just a book so that's the store Let's go back to the book itself. Well, actually, I think what I'm going to do is show you the search panel in a little bit more detail. Let's say I was reading um, The Dormant Prophecy, and let's say that I read a note three weeks ago. It made an impression on me, but I didn't save it. And I want to find that note again. And the only word I can remember that's kind of unique in the note is the word lorem. And so I would go in, and I, would, I can actually select everyone, so I want to read everyone's notes, I want to read just my friend's notes, or I want to just search for my notes. So once I have that defined, I can go in and I can see, oh, all right, so it's found me three references with the name Lorem in it. And then I can click that, and up pops this uh, note. I can even click and or copy and save that note if I want, and then just click it off, like so. So I can search notes, I can search comments for the chapters, I can search for members. So I happen to know, for example, Ernest. And, but let's say Ernest just joined the system uh, a couple days ago, and I want to find him quick and easy. Well, here it is. So here's my quick and easy way to find Ernest. And uh, if I wasn't already a friend of Ernest, which I am, then I could choose the Friends tab and send a friend request. And, uh, and, and connect with them. So that's how the, uh, the search panel works. It's a great tool, highly recommend it. Um, and uh, okay. so that's it. This is Mark, I'm signing out. I'm gonna log out as well. And uh, I hope your journey is a good one.